With your children back in school now, they may be spending even more time looking at a screen, either on a computer, a tablet, a phone. Yes, all, all of those screens. things. So, so here to talk about that with us, uh, how it might be affecting your children, is Dr. Tom Wachewski. He's with the, uh, Carolina Force Family Eye. Did I get that right? Yeah, you got that right. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have a theory as to whether this is or is not affecting children's eyes, because I know lots of parents wonder. Is this really hurting their eyes or not? What's your thought? Well, it's not just a theory, and it's not just my theory. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> there's, there's just lots of studies that will show that children who spend a lot of time at a screen become more and more nearsighted. In fact, in the United States in the early 70s, about 22% of children were nearsighted. But with the increasing use of screens, by 2009, that number had jumped to 41%. Currently, we think it's closer to about 50%. In other countries around the world where they're using screens even more, it's up to 98% in countries like Korea. Wow. And unfortunately, nearsightedness is not a benign condition. It is associated with things like cataracts and glaucoma and retinal detachments and is worldwide the leading cause of vision loss. Hmm. And, and so obviously there's, um, there's some eye strain um, that's associated with, with screens, but it goes kind of beyond that. Oh, it goes way beyond yeah. that because, again, it's, it's having permanent, long-lasting effects on children's vision. You know, our visual systems were never designed to be staring at a screen for multiple hours per day. And what we find is that children at younger and younger ages are working on a tablet. I mean, you'll see even toddlers with their own tablet PC. Their eyes are not designed to do that, and it can create lifelong problems. So what are some things that parents can look for? Because, you know, I guess the first thing would be you're going to need glasses if they're struggling. But what are some signs parents can, so they can recognize, okay, well, maybe we need to get you to the optometrist. Well, the first thing that they can look for is pay attention when your child is working on their computer or their laptop. You want to see if they're sitting too close to the screen, if they're holding their iPad or their cell phone too close to their eyes. That can be a clue that they're having trouble. Uh, certainly if they're squinting, or blinking a lot. And also if they start complaining of headaches or eye strain, or they tell you they have trouble focusing, or they have blurred vision. And I imagine you would recommend having parents get their children away from these screens from time to time as much as they can, exercise their eyes in a way by looking at things further away. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the things that we recommend for all children, and actually for all people, is that they follow what's called the 20-20-20 rule. And that is that after every 20 minutes of screen time, you take a 20-second break and look at something at least 20 feet away or further. That short rest will give their eyes a chance to rest their focusing mechanism and help alleviate some of the symptoms of digital eye strain. That's a great piece of yeah. advice. I, I hadn't heard that before. Now tell me, as far as adults, I want to know, are we damaging our eyes? by staring at screens all the time, too. <laughs> well, yes, it's, it's the same issue. Just children are more susceptible because they are developing. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, in children, those are the ones who are becoming more and more nearsighted. There are things we can do to prevent that, though. And uh, the, there are several myopia control methods that are now available that doctors can use. We can do things like prescribe specially designed dual focus contact lenses. Something I had no idea you were an expert in when I contacted you, but this is really interesting. Yes. Um, the other thing we can do is we can prescribe a certain eye drop for use at bedtime to slow down this worsening of vision. And perhaps the most effective way we have of slowing down or stopping this progressive loss of vision is orthokeratology retainers. More commonly called ortho -K, these retainers are very much like contact lenses, but they're only worn at night while you sleep. Wake up in the morning, remove them, you'll have great vision all day with no glasses, no contacts. And that's wonderful, I but... Know, isn't that crazy to, to think My about? My mind is blown <laughs> right, right now. Yeah. But more Hello. importantly, what it will do is slow down or stop the progression of nearsightedness. And that's really, after all, the best thing we can offer our patients. Okay. Wow. Something ortho -K. That, ortho K. Something people might want to ask about. Find Absolutely. Out about. Not a lot of optometrists are, are familiar with it. But I, well, actually, only about one to two percent of eye doctors in the world are certified to do it. Yeah. Uh, I've been teaching it for about 15 years. So, um, yes, it, it is very effective. It works very well. My own two children have been wearing ortho -K retainers since the age of six. My oldest son is 23, and he's never had a single change in 
vision that he sees better than 2020 all day. Well, okay yeah. then. <laughs> so some short-term things you can do like on, a, on a daily basis, but then some other options. Absolutely. All right. Great advice, great information. Thank you so much for being here. Really Thank you very much for inviting me.